this is bad. The boogeyman is coming. I'm not really big into doom, guys. This is pretty gnarly. It's scary. We need to know about it. In this video, I desire for you to take away the truth of what's happening. What Fed Chair Jerome Powell just said about the banks, about commercial real estate, about all the things that are these banks are allocated to is damning. It's, uh, the, we are, in this video, we are checking the box. Done. This is in the mail and it's on the way. We're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna talk about some of the things that Jordan Peterson presented to Congress. I really like Jordan Peterson. If you hadn't checked him out, you probably should. He's a, I think he's one of us, if you know what I mean. So thank you for being here. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like this kind of content. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. I summarized this and condensed, and, yeah, condensed it as much as possible. Declining values of office space and retail assets following shift to remote work put banks at risk. Which banks? At-risk banks are small to medium-sized banks, not the big systemically important banks. Okay, so the big banks aren't at risk because they're actually... I used to say the left arm of the government, then I said the right arm. It's actually both arms of the government. Central banks, government, one person, one thing, one, one entity. At-risk banks, that was, the, the big banks are going to consume the little banks. The little banks are allocated to malls, shopping centers, commercial real estate. That is, according to Fed Chair, uh, underpopulated. Commercial real estate investment REITs have declined in 2022. Downtown offices remain underpopulated. Powell believes Fed and regulators can contain fallout to avoid a financial crisis. I had somebody in the comments say the, uh, Jerome Powell was the best since Paul Volcker. Well, maybe so. Maybe, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion, and, and that's great. Here's my thoughts, okay? No matter how good you think he is, he's got a job to do, and his job is to protect the elite's money. The FDIC openly laughed in a leaked, in leaked footage. I'll run the video right now. Accessible when people need to know, but I don't think you have much hope of, of reaching a public that doesn't have a professional need to know. I, I completely agree with that. I almost think you'd scare the public if you put this out. Like, why are they telling me this? Should I be concerned about my bank? Like my insurance company doesn't tell me what they're doing with my assets. If they just assume they're going to pay my claim, right? It's it's. I, I think you've got to think of the unintended consequences of taking a public that has more full faith and confidence in the banking system than maybe people in this room do. <laughs> more full faith and confidence in the banking system than maybe people in this room do. <laughs> that. We want them to have full faith and confidence in the banking system. They know the FDIC insurance is there. They know it works. They put their money in. They're going to get their money out. So there, there's a select crowd of people that are in the institutional side. And if they want to understand this, they're going to find a way to understand this. They openly snickered about how we have more confidence in the FDIC than they do. <laughs> it's not funny. It's a cruel, it's broke, okay? Here's the deal. No matter how good you think he is, there is a massive pile of dry tinder that politicians have been stacking up for years. And recently, mainly since 2008, they've started to throw a little diesel fuel and oil on this tinder. And in just a little while, they're going to start throwing gasoline on it as the economy goes really downhill. And they still think they've got tools and all these other things. They don't have anything. They've got quantitative easing, quantitative tightening. <laughs> That's it. 
it's like a it's a derringer they've got two bullets so that's a good way to think about it massive pile of tender wood soaked with everything that's trying to ignite itself it's trying to go up in flames and all they can do is try to put it out they, they can throw liquidity on it they, they throw money at it and 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 smother it out and it's it's a constant thing they're really trying to do it this is what's ultimately going to usher in the cbdc and how it's going to be so wonderful and yes you will participate we will all have to participate i'm sorry that's we, if you're participating in using the dollar it's just a digital dollar that's completely manipulated that will coincide with your retina facial recognition uh, your carbon credit, all those things, all those things are going to be tied to your money. Now, sounds like doom and gloom, but this is a big deal. The Fed are saying banks are going to fail. As you guys know, I'm uh, actively shorting commercial real estate. Uh, I will make more videos about it and more videos on the politicians and where they're buying. Um, I'm going to leave their names out. I've been encouraged to do that. Now, Jordan Peterson, moving on to uh, the, the, the societal damning evidence. Surveillance technology is advancing rapidly, Mr. Peterson says, especially in China, enabling near total government monitoring and control of citizens. And what he's talking about, I went down the rabbit hole a little more because he mentioned CCTV cameras. There are now 700 million of these smart cameras that survey citizens. They, they watch their every move. They know how much fuel, food, what they're eating, everything, just by walking by. It can analyze a crowd in seconds. The one they're trying in the UK can analyze five lanes of traffic at a stoplight. Wearing your seatbelt, registration, are you smoking in the car with a baby, all, all the stuff. It, it, and if it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's, in, it's invasion of privacy. There's, 2024 is the year of invasions. Western technology enabled China's extensive surveillance system, and Western governments are also expanding surveillance power. Can you, I mean, I know I'm preaching to the choir. But this is, uh, this is common. Pay attention to CCTV cameras, what they're capable of, and where are they going to be? And wouldn't we need a good old-fashioned crisis so they could implement and spend billions of dollars on millions of cameras? Like, well, since we left the border open, we're going to need to make sure everybody is not a terrorist because you know we had some people do something who knows what they're going to do and now we can't let that happen anymore so for your safety we're going to have to monitor everybody we're we're the best we are the government and we're here to help emerging ai technologies will further enable mass surveillance beyond the humans alone could achieve i have been learning about ai uh, algorithms, al algorithms in the stock market that manipulate everything. You think you're seeing the price go up and that's the actual price. It's an algorithm that offers price. It's a buy model, sell model, different models that come on different times of day. I pay attention to the market 10 minutes before the hour and 10 minutes after the hour during New York session. You'll notice it. It'll all of a sudden do what it wants to do. That's coming as well. I'm going to be harping on that pretty good. And by the way, if you're interested in coming to the Financial Prepping Conference in Oklahoma, uh, it will be October 8th and 9th. Two good friends of mine bought a RV park, and they have been doing a bunch of work to it. It's really nice, and we're going to be going to the Red River, uh, Red Rock Canyon, 8th and 9th of October, and there's going to be speakers. I've got several lined up. Uh, I haven't had any... I've got several for sure, but I'm going to wait to start announcing. But go ahead and start thinking about it. Mark it on your calendar. You're going to meet some really cool people. There's going to be some cool stuff to do, too. We're going to do all kinds of different things, different workshops, but 
check it out. I'll put it in the description. Nothing's in concrete yet, but it's in October. Now, <clears throat> this AI deal, this chat GBT, um, the more I learn about it, the more I'm concerned. Young people is who I hurt for the worst. Uh, they're not going to have the childhood I had. It's already noticeable. I live in the country. Do you hear four-wheelers riding by? If it, if if I was 15 years old, I would be doing a wheelie down the road with a motorcycle that had the muffler cut off. <laughs> you don't see that now. They're, they're inside playing video games, talking on their headset to somebody else that's playing the same video game. And if they need to ask somebody a question, a lot of times they don't ask their father. A lot of times they're missing. They're asking the friend that's always there that seems to always know the right answer. An AI bot, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, Google, ChatGPT, whatever. It has a way to understand emotion and know how to answer questions. And it's the true manipulation of everything. I think you need to learn about it. I think you need to know what it's capable of. I do know and understand it's part of the, the end days. Uh, it's gonna have everything to do with what's coming. But I'm paying for not doing my due diligence uh, in tech now. I always avoided it. I build stuff with my hands. I'm a professional fabricator, okay? I'm welding, pipe fitting, build anything type of guy. But when it comes to tech related stuff, computers and stuff like that, I've been forced to learn it and I'm behind. I'm getting better now. But AI is going to be so important to understand and know. Uh, I'm not saying you have to consult it like it's God, but you need to know what it's capable of so you'll know what it is when you do see it. Can you, you smell what I'm stepping in? So guys, that is, that's it. The banks are crashing and AI is breathing down our neck. It's already here. They can't stop it. It's already out of the bag. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.